Yo, what's up? What's up? How's everyone doing? It's DJ Web. Yeah, you, you read the thumbnail. Song requests. They suck. We know. We, we hate song requests. As a DJ, you hate song requests. I'm not gonna lie, I hate song requests as well. But song requests can be a useful tool. So yes, I do take song requests at all of my events. Now, keep in mind, I do use good judgment when it comes to song requests. I'm not gonna put on a rap hip hop song when I'm playing oldie music. I'm, I, you gotta use good judgment with song requests, but I do take song requests at all my events. I put them into my prepare screen or your, basically your side list of songs that are coming up and I fit them in where they might fit best. But as we all know with the current situation and everything, taking song requests is just not that easy anymore. I mean, screaming six feet away just doesn't seem to work in a loud environment. Yo, dog, can you play Yeah by Usher? What? Yeah by Usher. Yeah, sure. And this was a dilemma until the team at Request Now contacted me to try out their new text song request system. And of course, at first, I was like, yay, another text request system, blah, 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 it's probably lame or whatever. But after giving it a try, it's actually pretty sick. Let me show you. So, let me show you guys how Request Now works. As you guys can see on the screen right now, this is the Request Now online system. It is super simple and easy to use. So first off, I wanted to point out that Request Now will create your own number for your Request Now system. So you don't have to use your business or your mobile cell phone number. They give you your own number so that way you're not giving out necessarily your actual phone number for the business or in a lot of DJ cases, their mobile cell phone. You don't want to be giving it out just like to everyone possible. You can think about where that could go. And if you're running a multi-op, they actually can create multiple numbers so that you can give a number to every single one of your DJs so they have their own number. And the number they create for you will have the same area code as where you are. Obviously, mine is blurred out because I don't want you guys texting my request now system and overwhelming it with different songs from people that are not at my event. So right here is the events dashboard. So we have upcoming events. Right now I have one live. It's gonna be a demo one that I'm gonna show you guys how it works, how your guests text it and all that sort of stuff. But we also have past, so you can look at all the past events that you've done. You can see right here, I've tried it out at three different weddings so far. Really cool, really dope. And that's pretty much it. You have upcoming events, past events. It's very simple. So creating an event is very simple. Let's go ahead, let's fill out the name, let's put in the date. There we go, very simple. Ashley and Joe, their wedding is on September 24th. I just made it up. Now as we scroll down below this, we get to the branding section. And this is what really stood out to me as being really cool and really unique to have in terms of a text song request system. So for each of your events, you get to create an auto reply signature that gets sent back to anyone that sends in a text reply. And you also get to create a thank you message, which is super dope. So let me go ahead and type in those real quick. Obviously they give you some suggestions here so you can just copy theirs if you wish. Uh, but let me put in some here and then I'll get back to you. So I put in an auto reply signature. I put in thanks for the request. I'll do my best to work it in. Hope you're having fun at DJ Rick Webb. That's the cool part. You get to throw in little branding things right there so people know who you are without having to just put on the mic, hey, what's up, it's DJ Rick Webb. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, all this other stuff. It's a cool little branding tactic to get your name in front of people, especially if they're requesting songs. Then the thank you message is really dope and I'll show you in the example of a live event here towards the end, but at the end of the night, there's a button that you get to click that sends out a thank you message to everyone that texted in a request. So the thank you message is on behalf of Ashley and Joe, I want to thank you for coming out tonight. Please be safe on your travels. Instagram at DJRickWeb, FusionSoundLighting.com. So you get to throw in a little bit more branding right there, especially to everyone. It's really dope, it's really cool. Now as we continue to scroll down in terms of creating an event here, there's a button that says new. It's a virtual contact card. So this is new as of filming this video. It might not be new when you're watching this video. But if you click this right here, I'll pop up some imagery right here, but it basically sends out a contact card. You guys know what a contact card is on your phone. Basically, if you someone asks for Ashley's contact and you send them the contact card, it pops up with all their information. So what this does is when you send out the thank you message, it has a contact card at the bottom so people can save you to your contacts. 
which is really dope. The next section down is features. So the first thing is to use automatic song request detection on guest messages. So what this does is it looks at a text message and analyzes it for the song title and name and then it pops it up in your live feed which we'll see later. Really cool feature. Next thing down is guest name. So if you click this, it allows the guest to type in their name, type in a nickname or whatever. So that way you have a name to give the song request to. And this works two ways. One, if the song request is kind of dodgy and I'm on the fence of playing it, it allows me to put on that song and be like, by request from Joe, we have this. So that way I'm kind of passing the blame for this song so that if it doesn't work, it's it's on Joe, it's on Joe's source. Joe requested that song. I, I didn't want to play it. Joe requested that song. There's the first thing right there. There's a tip for any song request. If you're on the borderline of playing that song, throw out who requested that song, especially if it's like the father, the bride, or the, the bride, or the groom. Those will definitely, they're like saviors in terms of song requests that may or may not work. Just throw or slap the name in front of whoever requested the song. Let it fly. If it fails, it doesn't come back on your shoulders. There's a little tip. But also, if you're a person that likes to do a lot of emceeing and interact with the crowd, it allows you to shout out that person that made that song request and not put them on blame, I guess. So, there you go. Then below that, obviously, you get to select the type of event. This is just for your reference later on. This is a wedding. How many guests? Uh, 100. And then you click Create Event and you're ready to go. So now on the upcoming events, we can see the new one we just created, Ashley and Joe, and we can see Mark and Jen, which is live right now, so we can play around and see what it's like in the live dashboard view. So when you're at an event, yes, you are gonna need internet, but we live in 2020. A lot of venues nowadays have Wi-Fi, so you can ask for Wi-Fi at the venues. Most of us, I would hope, are carrying a smartphone in which you can hotspot to your device. So internet at least 90% of our venues should not be an issue. Obviously we have those events, those venues that are in the middle of BFE, in the middle of nowhere that don't have internet where this would not work. But for the most part, you can use this at most of your events. So to view the live dashboard, you have a couple of options. One, whatever computer you're on, you can go ahead and click the live view and go right into it. But if you're a person that has like maybe an iPad off to the side and you want to see your song requests on the iPad, uh, you can do that. So right here there's a button to email or text you the link to do the live view. So you can email or text it to basically your other device and then pull up the live view on that device. Very easy, very simple. You can obviously edit the event after you've created it. So if you need to go in and edit it, you can also delete it. Very simple, but we're gonna go into the live view for Mark and Jen, which is a live event happening right now. We're DJing, we're live. So this is the live dashboard. This is where you get to see all the song requests and texts that are coming into your text now number. Obviously again, mine is blurred out. On the left hand side here, we have the request. And this is where the system is detecting what songs are being texted in. So I use two different phone numbers and I've already texted a few times on here. So as you can see on my phone, I texted play single ladies to the text now number. And it basically asked me if I would like to personalize this and give my name. So I can click on that link right there and it will come to a window where I can put in my name. So I'm going to put in Rick Webb, Rick Webb, click submit. All right, successful. Now I can close this page and I can go back to the texting. So I said single ladies. So then it texted back and said, single ladies, put a ring on it by Beyonce, sent to DJ. Thanks for the request. Hope you're having fun at Mark and Jen's wedding at DJ Rick Webb. Pretty cool, pretty sick. And then I texted again and said, play everybody Backstreet Boys. Everybody Backstreet Boys sent to DJ. Thank you for your request. And it does the signature that I had set. So that is how it looks on the phone when you text it as the guest. So as you can see on the left here, those are those two requests. I also used another number to send in yeah by Usher. You can also see on the right here the conversation. So these are the two phone numbers. So I have a conversation with Rick Webb and another conversation with another person. I can click on those conversations here and it'll pull it up in a little chat and I can reply to them. So I'm gonna reply to myself. I'm gonna say, uh, what up man or what version do you want? Obviously it's a, it's a normal song, but I can say what version do you want? And the message is sent and the message will come through on my phone and it literally comes through as a message and says, what version did you want? I'm not gonna show it on screen, but literally just comes as a text and says, what version do you want? Very simple. Now, obviously we can X out those conversations. So if I wanna X out uh, this conversation here, I can X it out and it goes away. So I don't have to clutter up my dashboard 
you got it on the phone, you can tap it, remove it, very easy. Uh, with the requests here, so we can highlight requests, so if I want to highlight everybody, I click the little star button right there, it sends it to the top, it's now highlighted as the top request. So you can do that with multiple requests, you can highlight them, you can unhighlight them, and it brings your highlighted requests to the top. So if you want to manage all of your requests in here, you can do that. Now, for instance, you can also remove those requests. So if I want to remove every everybody by the Backstreet Boys, I can remove it. I already played it, it's done. I don't need to worry about it. I can hit the X button. So I have two requests left to play. The megaphone button right here beside the request is really cool. So it lets the guests know that the song is about to come on. So I want to let Rick Webb know that Single Ladies is about to come on. So I'm gonna click the megaphone real quick and it sends a notification to my phone here. Let me uh, show you guys on the phone. So as you guys can see on my phone right now, you see right above it where it said, what version do you want? That was the message I sent. And then it says right here, Single Ladies, by Beyonce will be played next. So the megaphone is a cool way to easily interact with your guests. So if you're about to play the request, you just hit the megaphone real quick. The guest knows that, hey, my song's about to come on. Hey, girls, 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 let's go. Single Ladies by Beyonce is coming on, let's go. And then come up to the dance floor and plays. It's a cool way to interact with guests, just little features like that. So the song's over with, hit the X button, done for. Very easy, very simple. So one little cool thing, if you don't like the way this looks, it's currently in dark mode, and you can actually change it to light mode. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but if you click on the settings icon, you can change it over to light mode. Just the cool little bonus feature I saw. Um, so you can do that right there. And we can end the event. So let's go ahead, let's end the event, and I'll show you guys the thank you message. All right, so I clicked end event, and it says end event, send thank you message. So I click end and send, and it will now send that out to everyone. And you can see on my phone right now where it said, on behalf of Mark and Jen, I wanna thank you guys for coming out. Please be safe on your travels tonight, Instagram, DJ Web. And it has the link to our website right there. And on my texting software, it gives me a little preview of the website. I click on that website and it also attaches that contact card. So I can click on that contact card and I can click to save. And I'm gonna click cancel real quick so you guys don't see all my contact information. But you can click on that and save the contact card. So that right there is request now. That's the system, that's how it works. It's really cool and it's really simple to use. Now, the question you guys are asking though is, how do guests know to text me? So obviously one of the main ways for people to know what the phone number is to text in their song request is to get on the mic and to announce it. Another way to do it is with something like an iPad. And right here on the iPad, I have the graphics that Request Now made for me. They will actually make you one of these graphics right here. And on it, it has the phone number as well as a QR code. And for anyone that doesn't know, QR codes are actually really powerful. Any smartphone, if you take out the camera on any smartphone, Android or Apple, you take out the camera and you hold it up to a QR code, it'll pop up with whatever that QR code wants to do, whether it's text something or to go to a website. So anyone can use their phone, pull out their camera, scan the QR code, and basically send you a request. Very easy. You can place this on the front of your DJ booth, or you can print out a little sign with the QR code and be like text here or scan this code, whatever, you can put it out there. Or there are NFC chips. If you guys have never seen this before, basically if you've ever seen where there's like tap here to do this, kind of like Apple Pay, kind of like the Samsung Pay where you tap, or the cards where you tap, that's NFC. So Request Now can make you a sign with an NFC sticker where basically all a guest needs to do is tap their phone to it and it'll pop up with how they text. And those NFC stickers are actually really cheap, so you could get a bunch of them made, place them on every single one of the tables, and there's basically a sign there that says, hey, you wanna request a song? Just tap here. And it would have the phone number on there as well. But it makes it very easy for guests to be able to text you your song request. So that right there is how guests get the phone number to be able to text you. That's how the whole system works. It's really cool, it's really dope, and it's really simple. So if you guys would like to check out requests now, I'll leave a link in the description down below, and my friends over at request now have gave me a promo code so if you use promo code DJ Rick Webb that's gonna get you two free events so with COVID and everything as you're starting back up you can get two free events just use my promo code DJ Rick Webb then after those two free events if you want to continue using the service you have a couple options they have a pay-as-you-go plan so you pay for the events as you need them or you can do a monthly subscription where basically you pay for a certain amount of events per month or if you're a bigger company or multi-op, you have multiple DJs, if you reach out to them, they'll get you a multi-op plan for all of your DJs. It's really awesome. I, I really do love the service. It's pretty cool and it's really helpful, especially during these times. 
So, if you guys would like to check it out, again, use my promo code DJRickWeb. It helps me out, it helps the channel out, it helps you out. So anyways guys, that's request now. The link is in the description down below. Use promo code DJRickWeb, get you two free events. Check it out, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like on this video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And like always guys, keep the record spinning, and I'll see you guys next time with another educational tip review awesome video. Peace.